purple one? Okay, look. Let's see if we got another purple. Four months. Four months. Let's see. Yo, so to kick this video off, I go in using my gold comb and I wanna lift this pattern. I wanna pull the waves off of the head because my client been woofing for four months and as you guys can see, this is a lot of hair to tame. I got a big beard that I'm working with. It's a real full haircut, so I go in with a number two guard and I'm completely open and I take my first stroke all the way through the hair because we wasn't doing a three on the crown or anything. We was doing a two all the way through and through and cutting four months worth of hair. At times you can nick people a lot of the hair not laid down and it kind of looked like ball spots so I kind of wanted to just take my time by working my way into this and as you guys can see half of his head is completely red but after the four months you know that dark was able to get from up under there this is one of them super elite like god waves right here and by that I just mean like a nice pattern of waves and a super full beard because most of the most elite waivers we see don't even have a beard they barely got a mustache so this one gonna be a goodie if you're able to sit through this 15 to 16 minute video i promise y'all we finna shake the room with this one so i go in with my gold babeless fx's in the back and i just want to go on here get myself about an inch of fading room i'm starting with the back right now because i normally start with my sides but i don't think it really matter throughout my video footage i go in with a number two guard and i'm just basically debulking this area i need to debulk this area so I could set myself up and create some taper and fade room. I go in completely open with my Andis Masters right now and I'm just getting complete strokes. I'm going up maybe another inch and then I go in with my Babeless FX's and I'm flicking in between my lines. So I'm going to go completely open. I'm going to go halfway and then I'm going to drop them closed. As you guys can see, them completely drop closed is how you blend that line all the way out. go in with a 1 8 guard and I'm just flicking as you guys can see I don't lay my blade flat I use the hilt of my blade if I lay my blade flat then the worst part about that would mean I would be pushing or pressing guidelines into his head and that's not what I'm trying to do so I got my 1 8 guard completely closed and I'm just basically flicking at this area I'm showing y'all how to basically eliminate steps I won't use it open at all I'm using it completely closed using the hilt of my blade and I'm getting a nice transition then I go in with my 116th right here, and I'm just flicking in between that. I'm like halfway closed right here. And as you guys can see, that gradiency is looking crazy. I'm getting the transition that I want. I'm brushing one and I'm fading one, and I'm keeping everything consistent to keep this hair laid and pulled forward and setting it up for that kill shot. And it's just detailing work right here as you guys can see using the corner of my blade I go in using my gold babeless FX's at the bottom of the taper because he didn't want his C shape He wanted to get rid of the C shape So I plant at the bottom of the temple area and I just want to give me a nice clear line So I could go in and create this fade room like I did in the back I go in with a number two guard right here the same way I did in the back I set my ball line then I went in with a number two so I could debulk this area I go in completely open right here as you guys can see and I'm giving myself about a half of an inch because I know for a fact how high or how low I want to keep this taper. See, and I got that major wave that's over the ear. I'm just trying not to push it to there. I go in with my 1 8 guard now and I'm just getting everything in order, flicking and using the hilt of my blade so I could create more gradiency and create a nice transition for the side taper. Go in completely open and I'm gonna work my way from open all the way to close with my green FX's just so I can blend this area out and give them a nice taper. 
As you guys can see, I got black hair, red hair, gray hair, all of that. You fade through it all, you brush through it all, you stay consistent through it all. And the same thing with the beard. I'ma go in with a number two guard, I'ma debulk it, then I'ma go completely open, and I'ma slowly blend this line out. That's the best part about being in the shop. When I'm working, I'm hooping, I'm completely locked in. I can have conversations, but I choose really not to have the conversations like that. If I'm really conversing, I'm conversing with my client most of the time. And it's just little things like that that keep me completely locked in. I'm not playing. When I get a waiver like this in my chair, I'm going to break YouTube every time. I'm breaking YouTube every time. And that's the point. Like, that's what I feel like I did. Ever since I cut Fonz hair that night, Fonz was literally me showing. I could come in a wave game with a head full of dreads and literally put a dent in the game because I'm different and Beam has always been different. I'm bred from the porch. I'm not bred or, or became somebody who loved barbering later on in life. There's something that was bled through me when I was nine years old. I used to watch my pops all day cut hair on the porch. I used to pull up a chair and just watch him cut. I never get my hair cut, but I sit there and I watch him cut. And that was just little things like that that just, you know, intertwined me and wanting to be a barber, changing a person's life, impacting their life in a different way building on their self-esteem literally changing how individual come in like i live in the city of chicago i'm not saying it's not ghettos or urban areas anywhere i literally get people that come in the shop that be ready to tear the world in half based on how they feel or based on what happened outside the shop and they come in they get a haircut and next thing you know they on a whole different type of time they want to talk to females you get what i mean like you completely change somebody mood and that's what i'm in the game for i'm in the game because i re and steal and rebuild build confidence throughout every haircut that I produce. It's not just impacting lives to me. I shape shift and shape shifting is upgrading and showing that person something they never seen under all of that mess. And him sitting down for four months, that's why I appreciate this guy. His name is The Professional Woofer. At the end of the video, you'll see the tags of everything to his channel. You'll see the tags to his Instagram. This is a real humble guy right here and I just appreciate him coming through and kicking it with me. But the fact that he was able to stay down for four months to come and get this it's finna get ugly so i go in using my spritz and i'm just basically misting my spritz all over the hair and i'm brushing it in because you want to bring every hair forward anytime it's a big waiver or somebody with a lot of hair like this or overhang on the forehead please use spritz you want to lock that hair into place but you want to bring it all forward and you want to prep it for that kill shot So I go in with my 1 16th guard on the beard and on the edges of the beards, I wanna go in just so I can knock some of the edges down so the hair is not too long and it's easier to line up. That's one thing, when you come to my channel, when it come to these beards, I do not know how I'm nice at them, but I appreciate God for blessing me with that technique of being really good at beards because it's one of my specialties. Sometimes I just get a whole day at the shop where I'm just doing shaves and I'm just really doing a lot of beard work. So shout out to God for definitely blessing me with that because the beard thing man is really me sketching out is when i get in my realm to really do my favorite thing and as you guys can see here i'm just going in with my andes masters and i'm floating over these waves i'm getting all of these hairs down to that desired length i'm getting everything as even as possible bringing everything forward and getting everything as smooth as possible So I go on my gold babeless FX's doing my verticals and when I get to the top of the ear I'll convert to the corner of my blade to work my way around the corner. I'll start do the back of the beard line because this is how I frame out. I like doing a neckline then the back of the beard line. It keeps me in the realm of being very symmetrical because what I do to this side I'm going to come over here and do to this side. I go in with my verticals and once I get to the tip of the ear you'll see me convert to the corner of my blade and work my way all around, around the roundabout. Then I'm gonna go in behind and do the back of the beard line. It's common denominators with me. What you do to the bottom in math is what you do to the top to break that improper fraction. So in this case, I go in and I just reference it to a lineup. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. It just keep me in the realm. I stay in the middle, I plant, and then I work my way all the way to the left of the client's head.
keeping everything consistent, trying to preserve as much of the overhang as possible, but at the same time, trying to put a hard, definite line into this, because my client's sitting still, he comfortable in the chair, so that's what's making my job completely easy, that I don't have to literally overwork for this. We had some good conversations, some good talks about some products and things of that nature. This is definitely a real humble, cool cat, so at the end of the video, when I put all of his tags up, please go follow this man. This is a real cool guy right here. Then I go in and I just hit the nose hairs as you guys can see. I plant my finger in the middle of the nose so I can lift it and then I go in and then clean up the nose hairs and hit the top of the mustache just so I could break into my line and see exactly where I want the top of the beard to start. I go in with some color and I just basically tap the edges of this beard and by tapping the edges of the beard I'm basically framing the beard out so it's going to kind of look like the beard is lined up before I even line it up. It's just a tip and trick to me for using color. I'm not going to put my clippers on somebody's face and then use color and then go behind it with a straight razor for one that's like five extra minutes that I don't need. I'm about eliminating steps, setting myself up for that kill shot and at the same time pumping these things out in like a 45 minute spree now this haircut won't be a 30 minute you're not gonna do this haircut in 30 minutes no matter who you are and if you do it in 30 minutes it's not gonna be as good because you got a lot of hairs you got to tend to you got the beard you got the lineup you got the waves you got the taper you got to do color it's so many different things that go into a client like this that you got to be on your a game so i go back in with my color and repeat the same steps that i did on the other side i cleaned up the nose hairs hit the top of the mustache and then broke right into my frame out work which basically allowed allows me to give this client a beard lineup without physically lining him up so I can stay in a real symmetrical clean realm. I'm eliminating steps at the end of the day and I'm setting myself up for the kill shot. So I go in with my boy Sean Cut's hair color enhancement card, giving myself a three to four inch distance radius. And this is literally the best color enhancement card on the market. You can follow my boy on IG at Sean Cut's hair. And he literally can order from his site and order his color enhancement card. This card will keep you 100% consistent on your color. It's gonna let you disperse your color completely easy and stay in the perfect boundary so you don't gotta waste business cards no more. And as you guys can see, I'm getting a nice color. I'm getting a nice playback. The color feeding very well into the hair. And the client, man, the client snapped with these waves. He snapped with this for a month. He felt that he lost some progress. And maybe he did because he's not a regular of mine. So I don't know what his waves look like 100. But all I can say is, man, it's ugly. I go in with my barber magic pencil and I'm concealing the lineup the same way women will conceal their eyebrows. Women will basically go in, they'll shape their eyebrows up, they'll put color in the eyebrows and then they'll go behind them concealer eyebrows and blend it out and i'm doing the same exact steps on this wave and haircut just so it can look super clean super precise and i'm gonna give it that nice clean ash look and as you guys can see it looks super precise i really enjoyed this haircut i really enjoyed framing this thing out because this is what i do when you come to my channel be expecting me to unpack the life be expecting me to frame out be expecting me to be super solidified with razor work being very consistent and precise that's my job that's what i do i'm gonna go down here on the top of the beard line and repeat the same steps that i did on the top of the lineup just on top of the beard most of the time i don't do this step but i just wanted to add some more in the video just so i could kick it with y'all more throughout the video because this is what i do day and day i love doing the beard work look how consistent look how sharp and precise this is looking this is ridiculous dog this beard game is ugly over here so I go in, I'm stretching the skin angle in my razor at a 45 degree angle and bringing everything back to the line, whether it's the beard or whether it's the top of the lineup, keeping it all consistent. Stretching the skin angle in that razor and slowly but surely bringing everything back to that line. Then I go in with my Barber Magic Pencil and I just basically frame this out and then I go in, stretch that skin angle, that razor, bring it right back to that line and everything is completely consistent and together. Now I go in with my Andis Masters and I'm just shaping the beard. And as you guys can see, it's nasty, dog. 93 premium. Octane. This is gas, like through and through. I'ma give y'all this non-stop. I've been in my duffel since day one. And it's unfortunate in a world like this, you do get clients who come in 
After four months and they look crazy But his barbers up us to change that outcome So let's lock in Hashtag TBT in that comment section Hashtag Glacier Gang It's 2020, it's year to shapeshifters We in that duffel again If you was able to sit through this 14 to 15 minute video Please like, share, subscribe, comment Yeah, all of that Hit that notification bell to get alerted When all the videos come out Y'all know me, I've been in my bag lately Y'all get nothing but bangers lately And until next time, and may God bless And R.I.P. to Pop Smoke I was four months. Let me know what y'all think about that one in the comment section. What's up, this is Professional Warfare. We had to come to Chicago to get Bean. Follow me at Professional Warfare on Instagram. Everywhere across the world. Back.